Hello and welcome to the Unraid March Digest of 2024. I am your host, Stefano Partita, and March was an absolutely a hot month for Unraid as they've rolled out several changes across the board. The first of which are some of the changes they've made to their new website design. And I have to admit that personally, I find it very attractive and very well laid out. One of the pages that really strikes me as one of the best pages is the new product page, which has several videos showing off some of the features and other things that Unrated is capable of doing. I think it's an excellent addition to the website. Look how this very first video starts auto playing, showing you how to create a new array and it's extremely well edited, short and concise. There's other, other videos in here about Docker applications, virtual machines, Unraid Connect, community apps, and the VPN manager. New users will find the getting started page extremely helpful as it'll get them up and running about 15 minutes following the five easy steps. New and seasoned Unraid users can check out the use cases page that provides them with a new organized layout as well as some filtering options to help you get started on your next Unraid project. As of March 26, 6.12.9 brings us a whole slew of improvements as well as bug fixes, some of which include, within Docker, it will now ignore empty paths in the configuration file when adding and updating containers. There's been a resolution to certain issues when updating containers and some fix and notifications when the container updates are available. With the management access page, they've resolved an issue of displaying IPv6 URLs, as well as removed support for legacy Unraid.net SSL certificates and removed the update DNS button. There have also been some changes for diagnostics, system drivers, UPC, and various fixes across the board that is listed here. The kernel has also been updated to 6.1.82. If you've already updated to Unraid 6.9.12 and are experiencing some issues or things that aren't behaving as you would expect, I'd highly recommend checking out the blog post for that release version because there are some known issues that Unraid's aware of and there's also some fixes to some of the issues that you may be experiencing. Things like your whole system freezing up for no apparent reason or some issues with outdated plugins. So definitely go through there and check those out. There's a whole laundry list of them available and I'm not gonna go through all of them for this video, but I wanted you to be aware that there are known issues and you should probably check that page out. The new Unraid license types, prices, and policies are available on Unraid's website. The new starter license comes in at a cost of $49 and allows you to attach up to six storage devices to the operating system. There's an unleashed license, which costs $109, which allows you to have unlimited devices attached to the operating system. Both of these have an optional annual extension that costs $36. And this will allow you access to any new future updates to the Unraid kernel or features that may become available that you're interested in sometime in the future. There's also the lifetime license, which costs $249. I don't know why they would make it $269. But this allows you to have a lifetime license that gets lifetime updates with no annual extensions required. For all of us legacy key owners, there's nothing that we need to do. We can continue using our licenses as is. However, if you're looking to update your license, let's say from basic to plus or from plus to pro, there are some licensing prices changes that you need to be aware of. For instance, as seen here, if you're moving from basic to plus, it will cost $59. From basic to pro, it will cost you $99. Basic to unleashed is $49 plus to pro is $69, and finally plus to unleashed is $19. Unraid 6.13 beta 1 is currently being privately tested and will be available to the public sometime in the near future. Some of the features that you can expect to see will be support for hybrid ZFS pools, as well as VM cloning and snapshots. There'll be a new integrated file manager. There'll be an improved dashboard as well as navigation. And what a lot of people have been absolutely begging for it, and one feature that I'm definitely looking forward to seeing included in the future versions of Unraid will be Intel Arc GPU support. After you go, be sure to check out some of the community content. We have videos from Space Invader 1 taking a closer look at how image compares to Google Photos. We have a video showing us the must have plugins for Unraid. We have videos also showing us how to easily replace a failed drive in Unraid, as well as a video for Unraid dual GPU pass-through. 
If you enjoy content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And I want to thank all of you for supporting the Uncast show so far. And I look forward to producing more content like this for you in the future. Peace. Thank you.